My dear students, welcome to Unit 3, Week 3, that extends from January 21st to January 25th. Um, let's start with Lesson 1. Lesson 1 talks about the Industrial Revolution. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to introduce the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century and identify the impact of the Industrial Revolution on population. The word wall is going to include industrial revolution, 19th century, world population, impact, and interconnectedness. You're going to watch a video about the industrial revolution and child labor, fight for work rights, and how uh, the industrial revolution impacted the population growth. You will have an interactive activity related to this video. After that, you are going to watch a video about the impact of the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century on population. You will have another interactive activity. You will have further practice. And uh, in the challenging question, you're going to answer what three inventions led to the spread of mass communication. You will have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search for the population number in 2015. For lesson two, uh, by the end of lesson two, you're going to be able to recognize the changes in the world population in the 20th century. The word wall is going to include 20th century, beyond, changes, baby boom, global population, and population explosion. You're going to watch a video about the changes in the world population, what led to overpopulation and what is expected in the future for overpopulation. You will have an interactive activity related to that. You'll watch a video, a video about the population in the 21st century, the 21st century crisis that is nobody's talking about. And you'll have another interactive activity related to that. You'll have, of course, further practice. And for the challenging question, I would like you to answer in, 19, in, in 2019, which country had the highest population growth? You are going to search for that, and I would like you to search for, um, for the changes in that country, how it became the highest, how it became or had the population growth. You will have um, a self-assessment quiz, and for what to do mo tomorrow, the world celebrates the World Population Day every year on the 11th of July. For what to do tomorrow, I would like you to click on the UN logo and do the activity related to the Population Day. Now for lesson three, you will have an explicit related to, uh, related to population. You're going to make connections between various sources of information. Uh, these sources are going to be um, texts, um, extracts, um, a table, and uh, a pie chart. The word wall is going to include birth rate, death rate, infant mortality rate, life expectancy, and natural increase. We're going to watch a video about the pattern of global population change, how populations grow and change. Then you will have an interactive activity. You're going to work in groups. You're going to open page 86 and 87 in your INS book, and you're going to do the following. Group A or group one are going to read and discuss source A. They're going to answer questions related to that, and you're going to write the answers of the questions in a form of paragraph. Group two are going to, uh, to read a table, and they're going to answer questions related to the table. Of course, you're going to answer the questions in a form of a paragraph. Uh, group three are going to read an extract, and group four are going to read a pie chart and answer the questions again in the form of a paragraph. Why the form of a paragraph? As you know, this is an um, IUD um, unit where English and INS are uh, interconnected and intersected. That's why you're going to write your answers in a form of a paragraph. You're going to watch a video after that about factors affecting population growth. <clears throat> and you will have an interactive activity related to that. For further practice, I chose for you um, 
a site where you can find questions and answers that are related to the whole unit and to population growth. For the challenging question, I would like you to answer, how does agricultural change affect population growth? You'll have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to look at the poster and you're going to write the message of the poster on your notebook. All the lovers and respect, I can't wait to start this week with you guys.